Crucible has arrived. everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we are finally getting our hands on Crucible which is Amazon Game Studios first major release. It dropped last night on Steam. It's a third person shooter and it is completely free to play. And today you're gonna get my review on it. By the way, I am not very good. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Here at Action RPG, I stream, I do tech reviews, I cover major gaming news, but the big portion of this channel, all things Action RPG. So if you grew up loving the Diablo series, if you're a fan of top-down isometric hack and slash style games, you are in the right place. So please consider subscribing and supporting smaller channels. All right. Let's get on to this third person review. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go. Okay, so let's jump right into this. I'm gonna try and go as fast as I can through the menu part of the game so that you can see as much gameplay as possible, okay? So this is your menu for Crucible. It feels very Fortnite-ish. Obviously this is a free to play game, so there's gotta be a way for them to make money and that is through skins and buying battle passes and emotes and voice lines and different pods that drop you in, and then different stickers you could put on the pods. There's an entire shop for this game for you to make money. Now, in the menu, I actually think the menu is laid out pretty well. Right in the center, you get to pick your hero, and in here, it breaks down every single hero. It breaks down all their I'm abilities that you can use, and you can go in there and even see what keys do what abilities. So I like that. So At I'm gonna go rate. with my girl, Shakiri. I will not okay. fail. Now, in here, you have your different collections. So, let's just say, um, you know, you were playing this character. It shows different skins that you unlock for that character, the different drop pods that you can unlock, the different pod decals, emotes, emojis, and then voice lines. So, there's a whole bunch of things that you can unlock, and that's per character. On the battle pass, on here, there's all the different levels. It goes up to level 80 right now. And then obviously, as you go through, you unlock all the different various things. If you want to buy the battle pass, it costs you 1,000 credits. I think it's 1,000 credits. Unlock battle pass, 950 credits. And when you start the game, it gives you 1,000. So technically, it gives you about $10 worth of credits just for starting, which gives you the first battle pass for free if you want it. Okay, and then in there, here's the actual store for the game. This updates every single day. Some things will be on sale, and just like anything else, various items in here. But it's interesting, like, if you wanted this bug skin, Woodstock, and that skin looks pretty cool, right, if you're a bug player, it costs you 1,500 credits. That's more than the entire battle pass, which is like 15 bucks, so $15 for a skin. That might be what it is in Fortnite, I don't know. I know the prices are ridiculous, okay? So that is the menu, and then on top of that, sorry, daily. You have three different daily challenges. As you complete the challenges, it gives you tiers for your battle pass, okay? Now, once you've selected your character, you go into here, and you get to pick what game mode you want. So you've got Heart of the Hives, which is four versus four. You have to kill these large hives and collect three hearts. Three hearts wins. You have Alta Hunters, which is two versus two versus two versus two. You're basically just killing other people. And then you have our, under Arcade, you have Harvester Command, which is you have to take over as many harvesters as you can. The more harvesters that you have, the more your points tick up. First one to 100 points wins, okay? So those are the three game modes. And these unlock once you complete training. So if these are not unlocking, it's because you have not completed an entire training session. I know I talked fast, you can go back and rewatch it if you need to see something, but that's all I'm going to talk about for menus. I'm going to play a game, Heart of the Hives, with my girl right here, and we're going to see if we can do some damage. Let's do this. Okay, so we are now in the game. I want to be as clear as possible that, again, I am not super good. This is the second day that I've played it, the game just dropped. Now, as we are starting this game right now, 
I'm gonna talk through a little bit about my thoughts. Visuals, right now I am playing on 2500 resolution, which is max settings, everything on high. I'm gonna give visuals an okay rating. It's okay. Not great, not amazing, and not awful. They're okay. Again, free to play game. Doesn't mean the visuals um, have to be amazing, but they're okay. Responsiveness. I also put that in the okay category. As far as like actually hitting things and shooting and being spot on, they're 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 okay. Bring up the shield. Uh, as far as skills and different characters, as far as like diversity, great. There's ten different characters. Everyone feels very, very different. So I like that. When it comes to balance, that is where this game is going to struggle mightily. All 10 characters are very different. And in here, tanky characters, I don't think they're very good. Just my opinion early on, but the tanky characters seem to get demolished by this little guy in front of me, Tosca who is nimble, can teleport, can go through walls, can put this smoke cloud up where you can't see anything. It's like, I mean, in my opinion, he is well. the best, or Primo actually Tosca, she, she is the best character in the game. So as far as melee characters, since that's a character that I choose, I think they are underrepresented in this game. In this, you'd much rather have speed over tanky health power speed wins now gameplay the games are extremely long this game in itself will likely take 40 minutes um and that's you know could be longer depending on how if they get two hearts and then i get two hearts so this is a game where if you're going to sit down and play like get ready to play for a while as far as actual combat goes there is a lot left to be desired you know, as far as... You always want to kill the wildlife because they drop essence. Essence levels your character. No. Die. Just like Avatar. So, yeah. A lot to be desired. When you shoot somebody, it's not like you, like, see really anything happen to them. If you stab them, you can kind of, like, run through people. It's not... You know, it's nothing... It's nothing great. Like, I don't like the fact that when I'm trying to stab someone with my sword or hit them, I'm, like, running through them and everywhere, like, it would be cool if, if I hit them, you can kind of see that feedback on their body. There's nothing like that. So combat feels fairly basic. Oh, look, we finally got some people to fight. Let me just grab you really quick. Pull out the sword. Go around to try and get in close. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. You let your guard down. Run! Let's see if I could heal up. And I'm back. You ain't getting away either. Gotcha! I stole that kill. I'm not going to take credit for that one. Okay, we are now at the end of the match. I just continually die over and over again, which doesn't feel good. That being said, it is two verse or two and two right now for hearts, and whoever gets this last heart wins. Clearly, I could use more. And we just lost. It was only a 40-minute game. I had five kills, 8,300 damage. Well, I beat a few people. Three people had more kills than me. Not good five kills so it gives you your score sheet at the end and then you get your rewards totals up your XP 
And then if you level up, it tells you what you get for the level up. Crucible. I'm going to be making more videos breaking down this game for sure in the future. Just kind of wanted to start with a basic overview, my thoughts, the menus, what's gameplay and combat feel like. I am going to put this game in the average category. What I'm going to test tonight is actually playing with friends. How does that work? Interestingly, interestingly enough, there is no like voice or text right now in this game, but what What's awesome about it is it's completely free to play. So you're playing like a next-gen third-person shooter, completely free, and you got to see what Amazon Game Studios is all about. So that's all I've got for you today from Crucible. If you have not joined the official Action RPG Discord, please do that. We are eight members away from 100. Kind of cool, growing gaming community. We've been talking a lot about Crucible. So if you're looking for some new people to chat with, please consider joining. The link is in the description below. That's it. I want to hear what you think. I know I suck, so you could save the I suck all you want in the description below. All right. Stay home. Stay safe. Join the Discord. Aaron, out.